Hi, welcome to another 4 Minutes of Film with me, Rihanna. Today we've got three films to review, Blended, X-Men, Days of Future Past and The Postman Pat movie, with interviews from Stephen Mangan and Hugh Jackman. So let's get started. So Postman Pat auditions for a reality TV show not unlike Britain's Got Talent and becomes an overnight celebrity. Meanwhile, a post office employee is trying to take over the world using robotic Postman Pats and really evil Jesses, the cat. And when I got to speak to my comedy hero, Stephen Mangan, I asked him this burning question. Andrew Garfield's been going around saying that when he was younger he used to dress up like Spider-Man. Was that the same for you with Postman Pat? Yeah, as a five-year-old I would put on a ginger mullet, some glasses and a postie outfit and uh, wander around delivering letters. No, unfortunately, uh, I can't say that. It's interesting, you know, as a kid, you do think, maybe I'll be Spider-Man one day, maybe I'll be Batman, maybe I'll be James Bond. Well, I turned out to be Postman Pat. This is for very young kids, which is fine, they do need something, but for the adults taking them to the cinema, there's really not much for them. The voice talents are fantastic, Stephen Mangan, Rupert Grint, David Tennant, but they just don't translate very well in this cartoon. What I've learnt from films that have like one massive song in, like Let It Go from Frozen or Everything Is Awesome from the Lego Movie, is that it needs to be really fun and exciting and get the kids pumped up, whereas this quite dull ballad from Ronan Keating just doesn't fly in the Postman Pat movie. And if you want to see a man and his pet go up against a robot, go and watch Wallace and Gromit in the wrong trousers instead. One star for Postman Pat the movie. And next up, it's Blended. Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler go on a date and it is the worst ever. And then by some weird coincidence, they end up in Africa together in the same resort with their respective families. And this is just some of the witty banter you can expect. I'm Jim, I'm not a threat. Jim, the blind date guy. You said that was a disaster. Oh, it was. You said he was a chubby loser. You didn't mention he has that high, phlegmy voice, like he drinks a lot of dairy. Standing right here, ladies. Hearing everything. Barrymore and Sandler back together, so you can expect loads of jibes about people's weight, meeting some real weirdos, and of course that chemistry that we all come to know and love. But because this is for the family, there are quite a lot of family-centric jokes, and it kind of tugs on the heartstrings a little bit, and it is horribly cringy a lot of the time, and the jokes do fall really flat. But it wasn't gut-wrenchingly awful as I was expecting it to be. So two stars for Blended. And finally, it's X-Men, Days of Future Past. Sometime in the future, mutants are being wiped out by these destructive killing machines. So Wolverine is sent back in time by the Professor and Magneto to their younger selves in the hope that they can put their differences aside and save all the mutants in the future. There's no Professor here, I told you that. Look, kid, you and I are gonna be good friends. <laughs> You just don't know it yet. Professor? <coughs> Professor? There are so many faces in this, new and old, and of course Hugh Jackman as Wolverine is in both the future and the past scenes, so when I spoke to him, of course I had to ask him about his body. So I asked him, is there one day where his fitness has to be at its peak? It's May 21, and I remember as we leading up, and I keep checking in with it, May 21, right? We've got that scene with the thugs, and you see it in the trailer. And uh, about a week before, I mean, they said, oh, we've got a bit of a change in schedule. We're just going to move that back a couple of weeks. And I said, hey, here's the deal. May 21, do whatever scene you like but I've got my shirt off. If you're expecting loads of Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, you are going to be disappointed because the majority of the film takes place in the 70s. I really love James McAvoy though, so that worked for me. He was fantastic, solid as he always is. Michael Fassbender as Magneto was a little bit flat for me. I was a bit disappointed with his performance. They introduced a new character of Quicksilver in the best possible way ever, but other characters that you know and love, such as Storm, are so fleeting, they may as well not even be there. But I cannot wait to see what Brian Singer does with the next film, Apocalypse. Four stars for X-Men Days of Future Past. Next week, I'll be reviewing Maleficent, A Million Ways to Die in the West and Edge of Tomorrow. So if you want to subscribe, please click here to join me then.